Well, police are learning more about the people behind much of the crime that has been associated with the civil unrest. Today, Seven on Your Side is getting a first look at the suspects arrested and why most of those taken into custody are released a short time later. For the past few days, many government leaders have said outside groups are responsible for sites like this. Violence, smashing of windows, and looting from our stores. But today we learned a majority of those people who have been arrested are from right here in the New York City area. No justice, no While a majority of people protested peacefully over the past few days, police have arrested hundreds for violating the 8 o'clock curfew. Oh, and they arrested dozens for this, looting stores. Seven on your side analyzed the police complaints for Sunday night alone. Hundreds of other cases are still being processed. Many of the 50 people arrested were caught inside stores in the Soho neighborhood. Looting now is exploiting this situation. We found those arrested on burglary charges live in New York City, the Bronx, and a majority of them in Brooklyn. The average age, 25 years old. It's similar to arrests being made around the country. Most are from the communities where it's happening. From Minneapolis, where the protests started, to Miami, Florida, to Houston, Texas. A local public advocacy expert believes there are multiple intentions behind the crime. I think that there is a little bit of both. I think that there are some organized separate groups that are, you know, perpetuating this and saying, like, let's go out there and do these things. Almost all of those arrested were released and home the next day. A new bail reform law eliminates bail requirements for suspects of most nonviolent misdemeanors, including burglary. This week, the Manhattan District Attorney asked the governor to use emergency powers to allow judges to hold looters on bail. The governor today said the DA should review videos of the crimes to see if they're being charged appropriately. If you have looters who are using rocks, breaking windows, stealing, these people should be charged for the crime that they are committing and bail set. At one point, someone used a U-Haul truck to transport all the stolen goods, but the police commissioner said that was a rare case, but that many smaller vehicles have been used to commit crimes over the past few days.